I saw you get get nervous. You try. <laughs> you better take it out the video. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't giving me that answer. That's what it is. I'm still waiting on my cut. Oh yeah, so what we're gonna do if you wanna you wanna check this in um in cooling mode to test with to test these these package units to train style, you wanna short across these two here, use that little wrench. Okay. That's what I'll use. And do what? Just make sure you only touch the it's not high voltage, but just make sure you only touch the rubber. Just touch across these two and hold it. I have the right idea, right? Yeah, exactly. You got it. Hmm. Yeah, hit it again. Uh, so you're basically gonna have, yeah, that's your discharge. Got you. Okay. Yes, sir. So what we're gonna want to do? Get those probes on there. Cool. Got the luxury. As we'll go ahead and rock that out with the um, field sense. Let's check your amps for the compressor and the condenser fan. We will probably have to close that door back up as well. So I put that kind of where it, that's pulling in the air, so you're gonna have slightly higher head pressure like that. So you see, we got um. See our compressor phases here? Yeah, I was looking at these. Can I just can I check one of those? Yeah, absolutely, like yeah. That? See what you got on all of them. Now, hit, take the black lead and just touch the cabin anywhere. Just poke out the black lead, yeah. Push this. Gives me my bolts too. <laughs> yep, so 13 amps. At uh, about 116 volts, keep that on there. Yeah. I'm gonna check the, that's one phase. Get the other phase. 14 amps. At um, 117 about. Then you got your last phase, this red line. Thirteen amps at 116, so yeah. That's all good. want to um, check the condenser fan motor just pop this open oh yes I do what do we got there Looking, huh? Low superheat, 3.7. What? What is this? Is this a piston? It's not a meter, anyways. Um, good question. I believe it is going to be a TXV. Is it? No, it doesn't. Should be a TXV, but either way, um, I think the head pressure is a bit high. Yeah, which sucks. 400 psi on the head pressure. Yeah, so what that's it's meaning... 300 more than the low snap. Look at that subcooling as well. Yep, it's pretty high. The superheat uh, kind of stabilized on us, though. Looks Hopefully like, I'm able to even see that. Yeah, here, I get to the brightness of Well, that's as far as it goes. That's all good. All right, so based off these pressures and temperatures right off the back, you can tell there's uh, issues with heat rejection. Uh, just due to that elevated head pressure and liquid line temperature, those are the two main things you want to be looking at when uh, diagnosing whether or not your condenser coil is uh, improperly rejecting heat, whether it be due to the fact of a dirty uh, condenser coil or a weak fan, weak condenser fan due to a weak capacitor, or even the fan blade actually uh, too high or low um, within the actual shroud. So yeah, these are just a couple things that I like to look at whenever I'm diagnosing heat rejection issues. So yeah, that's probably, a, that's an indication to me of improper heat rejection take a look at this so we can feel like right in this area a good a good anything coming out over here not really right right at the top area it's not 
not much coming off, but there's a little bit of rejection here, right? Yeah. So that shows you this screen not doing very well for us. <laughs> Hopefully we can clean this out. See how big these see how big these holes are? So whatever little small deposits are getting through there. Yeah, they usually say a dollar bill. You seen the dollar bill trick before? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So but yeah, basically, it should fly off. But you see how it's just sitting there? Wow, okay. There you go. <laughs> I saw you, try, I saw you get, get nervous. You try. <laughs> you better take that out the video. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't giving me that That's what it is. I'm still waiting on my cut. <laughs> I respect it. But you see how that thing was sitting there? Look how bad that looks. Look how stuck Man, that you is. you can't even get it. That's all lit, ain't That's that? packed in every nuance. This vial. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna try to see what we can do with it. It's bad, it's packed. Okay. So basically what you're checking, those were your taps. That's your speed taps. Okay, yeah. That you just check. So that's gonna be 24 volts. So we're not gonna have anything on that. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at our high, high voltage going in. Oh no, you got it. So basically, the tap, the um, the, the uh, harness behind that. So chase this harness here. See this harness here? Yeah. That harness has got your high voltage going in. So yeah, whatever wire. And there you go. Oops. Nice. Yeah, that was weird. So let's do this as well, just for the heck of it, right? You may as well. We've got the luxury. Go ahead and round that out. Let's make sure it's all the way in the. It's got to all be in this. It's this kind of weak, man. Not very stable. Is it? It's garbage. Nice. Yeah, that's all getting that out of there. Foul play. Beautiful. You always want to wash these from the inside out just to, um, so you're not packing them up. You're not packing them with the lint. It's just spewing the lint out of it. You can actually see it. You know, breaking up out of there. As you can see. So, we're getting it. This is going to be running a whole heck of a lot better now. Very nice. Oh. Alright, so we got Julius over there cleaning this condenser. All uh, the coils over there on that unit. This second unit here is looking like it's experiencing um, pretty much the same issues. If I can get out of the sun. Looks like it's uh, based off these pressures. You can see I've got no subcooling, but I also have a high um, liquid line saturation. So, take a look at our temperature split 16 degrees. It's kind of low. So, if I were to guess based off these pressures, I'd say uh, look at our approach as well it's off the charts. Uh, line temperature is pretty high. So, we're looking like it's um most likely going to be dirty coil maybe slightly undercharged as well um, so we're going to get this coil clean as well as you can see with all that lint build up you know these screens aren't doing anything to stop that fine lint build up and once again we can check up here we don't have very much discharge down the center so we just need to clean these coils. Just spewing all of that lint out of there. You always want to take your time with this these micro channel coils because they're gonna they've got a lot packed in that you can't see with the naked eye. So 
So you ready to put that? Are you ready to put that five on the line again and see? Oh, if, no. <laughs> you ready to see if this thing is? Uh, <laughs> you see if this thing is gonna spit it out off the rooftop? It's a pretty high roof, man. So let's see. It's a pretty high. It's a gamble, man. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Well, it's better than it was last time, right? Last yeah. Last time I didn't fly anyway. <laughs> exactly. But that's the way she should be running right there, man, with the uh, clean coil. So. Awesome, man. Appreciate you. Cool. All right, on the next.